Verse 6 it says, Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. The clouds surrounding the earth were water vapor. This is the water in form of vapor that completely surrounded the earth in this way. When it rains, the water from the clouds fall to the ground. God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. In the midst of the waters. He was saying, Let there be an empty space. An empty space came into being. How did this firmament come into being? Please listen carefully now. How did this firmament come into being? It rained. At first, before man lived on the earth, at first, before the empty space was there, the entire surface of the earth was completely covered with water vapor. Then the clouds at the highest levels didn't fall as rain, but the clouds lower down all fell to the earth. They fell to the earth as rain. They all fell to the earth as rain and covered the earth. They became the seas. When you board a ship and travel out to sea, below the ship, the earth is covered with water and there are clouds up in the sky. So this space between the two is the firmament. This is the firmament. The waters below the firmament are the seas and the waters above the firmament are the clouds. This is what came about on the second day. This is the second day, and this situation remained until the time of Noah's flood. Because this situation continued, the environment was such that people were able to live for almost a thousand years. One of the reasons that the lifespan of man becomes shorter is because man is exposed to the ultraviolet rays from the sun. Before Noah's flood, man was not directly exposed to the sun's rays. The earth itself remained at a relatively warm and constant temperature, and so life was maintained under these conditions, and the vegetation grew abundantly. Within such an environment at that time, man was able to live for a very long time. This doesn't run contrary to any scientific theories. Then at the time of Noah's flood, these clouds above the firmament all fell to the ground as rain, and these clouds were no more. Once these clouds were no longer there, man was exposed directly to the rays from the sun. So man's lifespan suddenly began to shorten, and now man can only live for 70 or 80 years.